Do you hear that? Hey everybody, welcome back to Living Traditions Homestead. This is Kevin and Sarah. Do you hear what I hear? More rain. Hey. We are so sick of rain. <laughs> uh, you know, we were in a drought and we were praying that we'd get some rain. God's answered our prayers and then some. Like a hundred times. Right. So now we're going to start praying for a little bit of a drought again. Well, we had, we had two days of like maybe a day and a half of sunshine, which was great. We're super grateful for that. Right. Absolutely. But today, today like an hour ago, more rain. Right. For more, two more days. That's okay. That's okay. Because it forced us to get some things done undercover uh, that we you all know, had been putting off. And that's what we want to talk about today making money on the homestead. You know, when you're a full-time homesteader, or even if you're a part-time uh, homesteader who's just doing it as a hobby or maybe a side business, um, it's great to be able to make back part of your investment in things uh, and, you know, either help pay for your family's bills or, you know, maybe pay for your hobby. One of the ways that we make back some of our money is to sell rabbit manure. And you would be surprised uh, how well that sells at the farmer's markets. You know, people are so happy to get it because they understand how good it is. What a great uh, form of uh, fertilizer that rabbit manure is. Um, I mean, we talk to people all the time that this, you know, is a byproduct of what we do. We raise rabbits for meat. And this byproduct is actually probably just as valuable or more valuable than the rabbits themselves. And it's actually really surprising that rabbit manure is the best type of manure to use as fertilizer in your garden. And not only do we want to talk with you about that you can make back some money with rabbit manure, but we also want to talk to you about the value of rabbit manure as a fertilizer right because we don't sell all of it we keep at least half of it for ourselves yes because we understand that it's worth its weight in money i guess yeah i you mean know? we truck we truck like loads and loads of it to the garden so when you compare rabbit manure to say chicken manure or sheep manure or cow horse. manure horse uh, it is always at the top of the list as far as, you know, nitrogen, phosphorus, um, potassium. potassium, and uh, just a ton of other micronutrients that are in it. Uh, I, we looked just recently to make sure we were telling the truth, and it's actually like four or five times better in all of those things than your standard steer manure. Exactly, and like twice as good as chicken manure. Uh, but you know, some of the other great things about rabbit manure versus other types of manure is it's not a hot manure. It doesn't need to be composted before you use it in the garden. You can take it straight from under your rabbits right into the garden and there's no chance or worry about burning your plants. In fact, when I plant uh, tomato transplants, and I could probably do it on other plants, but I actually put a small handful of the rabbit manure pellets down in the hole before I even plant the tomato seedlings. And I put cover it all in dirt and then I put more of it on top of it. And they do fantastic. We've never had so uh, great of a crop of tomatoes as when we planted that way. In fact, we just ran into one of our neighbors at the store today. And yeah, we were, two houses down. Right, and they were ta telling us about how really their tomatoes last year didn't do very well at all. And our tomatoes did great. Uh, in fact, here's a video uh, that will show you how great they did. We ended up with well over a thousand pounds of tomatoes last year. And you know what? I really think the difference was the rabbit manure that we put on all of our plants. Absolutely. Another nice thing about rabbit manure is it, it really has no odor. Um, you know, pig manure, cow manure, even like the stuff that's been like sterilized or whatever, de-scented right. or whatever, still has an odor, but really dry rabbit manure has no odor at all. Right. And another nice thing is that there's a lot of different ways you can use it. Sure. Um, we use it most of the time, I'd say 90% of the time we use it, we just take it straight from in here in our rabbitry uh, out to the garden and put it straight on. Yeah, as a top dressing. Right. Now, the nice thing is out in our pasture, where we raise our rabbits on the tractors, they fertilize that for us every day. And you watch, this spring, our pasture will be twice as green as most of the other pastures around here. I guarantee it. Yes. 
But another nice way to do it is to make manure tea. Sure. Rabbit manure tea uh, is super easy to make. It's one part rabbit manure and five parts water. You mix that up, you wait three to five days, you go out and you pour it on your plants. It's amazing stuff. Right. Now, if you're making it in the summer, just be careful that you don't accidentally get it mixed up with your big jar of sun tea that you have sitting outside because it's completely different stuff. Oh. Uh, the other nice thing that you can do, even though it doesn't need to be composted, you can put it into your compost pile, uh, mix it in, and it's a really nice booster uh, right. for your compost pile. Right. Now, when you make the tea, you can also use that then, dilute it again to 50% strength, oh, sure. and use it on your seedlings. On your seedlings, yes. Which is a great fertilizer for your seedlings. And Sarah's actually been doing that just the last few days out in the greenhouse. I did. And you know what? I also did a video on uh, the reasons why all my seedlings died last year, and one of them was I didn't fertilize. But you can see that video right up there. So now that you know a little bit more about the benefits of rabbit manure, you can, you know, try to sell some yourself and actually educate customers as they come to buy it. You know, we sell it every week at our farmer's market. We're fortunate that our feed store sells rabbit feed in paper bags. Uh, actually, all the feed they sell comes in paper bags, which is really nice because it's much easier to get rid of instead of the plastic bags. Uh, so we just, uh, when we shovel it up, we put it into the paper bags and then it will dry out just fine in there as long as you leave the top open. Yeah, in about a week it's pretty dry um, and ready to go out for your customers. So if you don't raise your own rabbits and don't have access to rabbit manure, uh, you can always look up your local rabbit tree, maybe talk around at the farmer's market and find somebody that can be your supplier. Um, if you live around here somewhere in Missouri, uh, by us, if you're close enough to um, the Baker Creek Heirloom Seed Company, they're actually starting up their um, their Heritage Festival this coming Sunday. They do it the first Sunday of every month from March through October, and we're actually going to be there this month selling our rabbit manure along with some other things. Uh, so hey, if you guys want to uh, stop by and meet us, that'd be an awesome opportunity for you. Right. Um, and if you would like to buy some rabbit manure, we'll have that there. Right. That would be great. We'd love to uh, put some uh, faces with some names. Uh, so if you guys are in the area, we'd love to see you this weekend at Baker Creek. You guys, I hope that this has given you got given you just a little uh, insight into another way to make money on the homestead. You know, when you live this lifestyle, you really need to get creative. You need to, you know, just really make money a little bit of money in a lot of different ways uh, in order to survive. But you know what? It's a life we wouldn't trade for anything. Absolutely. We absolutely love it. So uh, if this is your first time here, don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button below. Uh, if you are one of our regular uh, traditionalists, thank you so much for coming back day after day. Uh, don't forget to uh, comment and share this video. Until next time, you guys, thanks so much for stopping by the homestead. Take care and God bless. God bless.